Welcome back to Golfing is Best. Today we're delving into the rules and guidelines regarding when and how you can clean your golf ball on the course. Understanding Rule 14.1c is essential to avoid penalties and ensure fair play. So let's dive right into it. Now there are specific situations where you're always allowed to clean your golf ball. Number 1. On the putting green. Once you've reached the safe haven of the putting green and are ready to mark and lift your ball. Number 2. Between two holes. As you transition from one hole to the next, cleaning your ball is entirely permissible. Number 3. When taking free relief or a penalty drop. In these scenarios, you can clean your ball without any restrictions. It's your chance to ensure a clean strike. However, there are some scenarios where you must exercise caution and follow Rule 14.1c carefully. Number 1. Inspecting for damage. Rule 4.2c. When you lift your ball to check if it's cracked or cut, potentially making it eligible for substitution during the hole's play. If it's undamaged, resist the temptation to clean it. Place it back in its original position and continue play. Number 2. Identifying your ball, Rule 7.3. While lifting your ball to identify it, you're allowed to clean it only as much as necessary for proper identification. This means removing any mud or debris that might obscure your identification mark but no further cleaning is permitted before placing it back and continuing play. Number 3. Interference with another player's shot. If your ball is in the way of another player's shot, and they request you to lift it, for example, when it's on their putting line or too close to their ball, resist the urge to clean it. Instead, handle it carefully or place it aside. Once the other player has taken their shot, replace your ball without cleaning it. Number 4. Checking for relief. For example, the embedded ball rule. When you lift your ball to determine if it's in a condition that allows relief, like checking if it's genuinely embedded in its own pitch mark or settled into a small depression. If relief isn't warranted, place the ball back without cleaning it. However, if you eventually decide to take relief under a specific rule, you're then allowed to clean your ball. Remember, cleaning your golf ball when it's not permitted or overdoing it when identifying it can result in a one-stroke penalty under Rule 14.1c. So always stay mindful of the rules to ensure fair and accurate play on the golf course. Thanks for tuning in to Golfing is Best, where we keep you informed about the rules that matter on the course.